This is where high priority mail makes its way into the most northern parts of Canada. These planes normally fly into Yellowknife filled with Canada Post letters and parcels. Not anymore. The Canada Post strike is having a, a huge impact in northern Canada and it's 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 monumentally more difficult to move stuff it is than, than down south. This is a major and complicated operation. From Yellowknife, small passenger planes transport mail to communities in the Northwest Territories. Some of those places, only Canada Post will go. It's a huge logistical thing and, and not and Canada Post really is the only people doing it. Uh, FedEx, UPS, you know, all these major companies, they have ways to do it, but Canada Post is an essential service for all the communities of the North. Across the country, charities like the Ottawa Food Bank are missing out on the fundraising they need to do right now through the mail. It's money they'll use for the next year to help vulnerable Canadians. It's a huge proportion of what we receive. Most donations come in over the holidays. The food bank still collects millions of dollars by mailing out requests for support. Even if they are not giving directly through the mail, often the mail that they receive prompts them to go online and make a donation. While most Canada Post workers are on the picket line as negotiations continue, some are delivering federal government support checks pension, old age security, and the child benefit. We make sure, which is something that Cup W and Canada Post has agreed on, and we're happy to do it, because we have to do it, is deliver their mail. So they will receive definitely their welfare. But many other government support programs are not part of this agreement. So the provinces and territories have made arrangements for people to go to government offices to pick up their checks. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.